<clears throat> it's my honor and privilege to welcome to the Kennedy Space Center the uh, flight crew for mission Space Lab D-161A. Uh, the good ship Challenger is awaiting them out at the launch pad and with Without any further waiting here, before it decides to sprinkle again, I'll turn this over to Commander Hank Hartsfield to introduce his crew. Well, I'm pleased to see you came out. The weather's not too great, and as you probably know, we had a short stop up in Georgia uh, to make sure we had plenty of fuel when we got down this way. In any event, we're here, and as best I understand, the bird's in good shape, and uh, hopefully it'll be ready to go on Wednesday, and I can... I assure you one thing, the crew's ready to go. Uh, let me introduce my crew to you. I won't bore you here with a lot of words. Uh, on my right is Mission Specialist uh, Guy Bruford, and next to him is Jim Buckley, Bonnie Dunbar, and my pilot, Steve Nagel. Then we have Reinhard Fulter from uh, Germany, Fubo Ockels from the Netherlands, and Ernst Messerschmitt also from Germany. What I'd like to do now is just let uh, each of them say a couple of words if they would. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that you came here and uh, see the people flying in. And uh, Hank, our commander, was quite right. We are ready to fly this mission. Um, just let me tell a few words about uh, the payload part. Um, we have uh, on Wednesday the first time that uh, our mission takes place where uh, only one customer more or less uh, uh, is flying his payload, and that is qu quite some challenge for us so as uh, payload specialists in uh, in the orbit, in the um, space lab. But also, uh, I think very important uh, is the fact that we have the uh, payload operation control center in uh, Germany, where we have all the people assisting us in the flight, uh, many hundreds of scientists watching us and looking um, eagerly about their experiments. And uh, hopefully, we will come back with. Um, uh, with uh, very interesting results. Maybe um, um, Bubo and uh, Reinhardt can tell you a little bit more about the type of experiments we are doing in orbit. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think we have time here really to go into all details of experiments, but uh, I think there are three things I would like to say, and that first thing is, uh, that's the most important, is an admiration for NASA to uh, have all these things put together. If you look at the VAB, then look at the shuttle, look at everything which belongs to it. That's very impressive, and that's the reason why we can fly. The second thing is that uh, I'm flying for the European Space Agency, and as you know, it's the initiative of Europe to uh, build a space lab, and that gives us the opportunity to get the laboratory in space. Last but not least, and uh, for us at this particular time, the issue is that the German Aerospace uh, organization DFLR has taken the initiative to fill that whole ship full of experiments and the thing we are looking for is uh, as quickly as possible get our hands on it and uh, come back with uh, a lot of very nice results it is one thing uh, having the full responsibility for a mission that with it comes the fact that you cannot blame anybody if something goes wrong so it is really up to us to work, and I uh, want to mention that we have two of our American colleagues who trained pretty hard in Germany over there. It's Bonnie Dunbar and Guy Blueford. They assist us in doing the experiments. Um, the last word I would like to say is the following, and this is valid and true for the United States as well as for Europe. We haven't won the battle so far. I mean, science is just about to come, science in the space lab, science in the laboratory. We always behave very often as if scientists are waiting, being stopped outside, waiting for getting the experiments on board. Partially this is true, but we have to work really hard to come back with good results in order to get them over, because I am deeply convinced that making science in space is worse to do, and we are among the first, and we have to push. I would like to say thank you for coming out here today. Um, it seems that we've worked very hard the last three or four months. Uh, time has passed very quickly, but I can say with a great deal of confidence that all of us as a crew are ready to go fly. So we're really up for the mission and we're looking forward to next Wednesday this coming.
Well, we're still trying to figure out whether we're a gaggle, a flock, or a herd, but we're certainly going to enjoy flying this flight. We've enjoyed the past two years training for it, and we look very much to a successful mission, and I'd like to thank our colleagues for making it possible, and let's go. As everybody has already said, I think we're all ready to go. We've trained very hard as a, a crew of eight people these last, particularly these last couple months, and we're all set, and if the weather holds out, we'll be uh, ready to go on Wednesday. <laughs> Nothing much for me to say. Uh, it's good for me to be back. Uh, I'm looking forward to flying again, and uh, I'm also looking forward to uh, doing a lot of uh, science uh, in support of uh, DFELR, our German uh, customer. And uh, I think we'll, we'll do a very good job. Thank you very much. Ha, ha, ha.